I found the cheapest Fender on Amazon, $119. Is it gonna be a great start or not smart? <gasps> Let's crack it open and find out. Oh. There we go. Nice reveal. <gasps> we don't need a manual. Mm -hmm. For 119, mm -hmm. let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. I spent a moment tuning it up. We're about to get first impressions with the Squire by Fender debut, debut series. Mm. So these were just listed on Amazon recently, and there's only a handful of Amazon reviews so far. So we're gonna contribute a few more. Let's see what this thing actually is about. The last time I played a Squire guitar that was in this price range, it was the Squire Bolt Mustang, uh -huh. which was two humbuckers, and it didn't have a wiggle stick. This has a trim on it. Stepping it up. There we go. We've got closed back tuners on the headstock, a string tree, some kind of nut, Satin, smooth, thin finish on the neck, rosewoodish fretboard. The fret's like shiny enough. They put the time in it. It's just not like one big block yeah. on this. Well, well, sometimes you- A little flat, but yeah. Sometimes gu guitars in this price point, like the, the frets can be real murky looking and it can even have like glue and like mm -hmm. deposits on them and stuff like that. Right? This, is, yep. this is fresh out of the box. Uh, just tuned it up and we screwed in the, uh, the wiggle stick arm here. What do you think about the, the, the body? It, it seems like it's a little bit smaller to me. Maybe is it a little, smaller? A little bit thinner, know. a little bit more compact. Oh, yeah. You know what, that actually, yeah, that might be a little bit thinner. I never realized that. I kind of like this burst underneath a matte finish. There's something kind of oily looking about it. Yeah, and it won't reflect any light. It's soft, it's smooth. I kind of like the yellow to black How does thing. it feel? How does it feel like the actual playability of it and everything? Well, let's find out. Okay. And we got, Pretty standard strat set up here. From what I understand, these are ceramic pickups. And you can tell just by looking at the pole pieces. Mm -hmm. You got those crummy pole pieces instead of the, like the, the raw metal kind of look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But these are going to be ceramic. We got standard strat volume tone tone. Does it have tone control on the bridge pickup? Let's find out. Oh, it does. Oh, it's on the bridge. Yeah, yeah, it's on the so bridge. So that's some more modern wiring. More fancy. It's got that bright punch of a mm. ceramic pickup yeah. for sure. The number two is noise canceling. Wiggle stick seems to work. Yeah. They play like an A chord. And they give it a wow wow. Oh, you want me to real like yeah, really dive it. I didn't even go all the way to the body. Yeah. It, it almost went slack on me. Yeah, it goes okay. slack. It sounds like it's mostly back in yeah, tune. It's, yeah, ish, yeah. That's not, I, it's not completely in tune, but it's not bad. All right, middle position. Number four. Not bad. And the neck pickup. It sounds like a strat. It's stratish, yeah. Honestly, feel like the action could come up a little bit, or maybe the oh. neck needs a little bit more relief. Oh, really? It feels like it's a little gonna buzz out a little oh. bit up here. I don't know. My first impressions are strong. It's it's a strat mm -hmm. to me. Like it feels like it's a budget strat. It feels comparable to an Affinity or a Bullet of yesteryear. Mm -hmm. But for 120 bucks in 2024? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That's huh? pr pr here, you try it. Let's see here. Get a little fresh tunester on here. Take note of the, the tuners. That When I was tuning it, I didn't notice anything, but maybe you'll notice something about the tuners. Well, like, Cause it doesn't get that slack feeling, you know, when it yeah, gets like- Yeah, I hate that. Feeling. In the middle where it's like, it's not contacting anything. <laughs> So let's go hear the neck pickup. Here's the middle position. Here's 
the bridge. Here's the in-between positions. Here's the first one. Here is the other in-between position. First impressions are strong. I yeah. have no problem handing this to a new player. Have you played a lot of $100 guitars? Probably played more than most people. More than most people. Yeah. How does this sit amongst other $100 guitars? All $100 guitars nowadays just kind of good. I think this is a very good example. This is beginner player ready. Yeah. Of course, there's things that can be better, things that can be improved. I will say there are I don't know. $300 guitars that I've played that are not as good as this. Really? Yes. I've had stuff come on the bench that's not as good as this. Mm. I'm always messing around with stuff that's in this $150 to $300 range. Mm -hmm. So this is below that, but I think it holds up. It holds up. The fact that the frets are shiny mm -hmm. and they're not biting into my hand. I think what we're going to do, we got this on Amazon. So why don't we rank it like Amazon? We'll do like a five-star right. review kind of thing. We've got analog five-star rating systems here. We're gonna keep it secret from each other so okay. we don't know what mm -hmm. we're giving it. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, who's going first? We go at the same time. We same time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. One, One two, two, three. three. Oh, no way! That's we why we're pros. <laughs> We both like, so you were really kind of pumped about this. What was preventing it from being a four or five star for you? It's one of those things that's like things could always always be better. Yeah. Like they could take this and they could throw a set of cheap El Nico pickups in there, mm -hmm. or they could throw a humbucker in the bridge. And I think that would be a better start. At its price point, it functions. It came set up mm -hmm. really decent. The action is a little bit too fast for me, but that's not going to impede a new player. Mm -hmm. Uh, the intonation was there. The frets are nice and shiny. The, the frets don't bite into your hand. There's nothing to really complain about with you know, it. When you're looking at like $120 guitars on Amazon, you're getting a lot of weird company names. Right. So I guess seeing like, you know, Squire, that's a very established brand. There's a little bit of brand trust you with there. You can get surprised by off-brand stuff, but it's you're, you're taking a big risk. Yeah, exactly. You, you, it's kind of like a safer bet, you know? Yeah. So it's, it feels less of a risk. The reason why I'm going here, thinking about this is the first guitar. Right? Yeah. I don't know. It feels like our, our missing star and a half is really just like an open question. Like, could you make it better? Yeah. It would feel wrong giving a $120 guitar five, five stars. Star review. <laughs> like, this is the best guitar ever made. That's not what it would mean because yeah. it's still, you're taking the price into consideration. Mm -hmm. I'm not upset about it. I, Are you going to buy one? I'm not going to buy one. <laughs> but like I said, uh, I wouldn't try to talk a new player out of buying it. You wouldn't be bummed out. If I wouldn't be bummed it. out if I found out that like my cousin bought one for his kid or something like that. I'd be like, oh, yeah, those, those are fun. Mm. Well, Why I guess not? The, would you pick this guitar for, uh, say, someone that's starting out? Would you get it for yourself if you're thinking about starting out? Right in the comments section below. I guess that being said, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye, everybody.